You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We have Michael Blackson. This troublemaking movie. African Michael Blackson. In every part of his life. What you, is going on? Well, when he see this coat, you know this? One last time you saw this coat, on I lit your ass up, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same coat I lit that nigga in. Listen, I want you to know Kevin Hart bought them chairs. He you definitely said, bought that chair. He bought them. Like he did. He did. I'm dead serious. He, he really real. did. He, he really bought those chairs. You said. I chairs promise to God. Give me another chair. <laughs> You want another That's chair? That's why for the real? fucking seat's so low. Exactly. Give me another chair. <laughs> he, he did it on purpose. Give me another he chair. Really he really wants another chair. Yeah, yeah, he wants, <laughs> there you he go. go. You can use that one. Why y'all take the niggas' money? <laughs> <laughs> we just letting fucking you know shot. that he bought the chair. He wanted to tell you up front. He didn't buy this. No, no. No, he didn't buy that one. Not he that didn't one. buy that one. That's from Minor Interior. Now, yeah. what's your beef with Kevin Hart, Michael Blackson? Matter of fact, before you say that, play what Kevin said when he was here. Play Kevin. Mike turned into the the... The Instagram model that just shows her ass that's looking for life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Mike turned into. Mike turned into that guy. Yeah, Kevin Hart, what the fuck? What? Mike, I'm your guy. I, if you don't know me, I get it. I'm supposed to be your guy, but now you're looking for likes because the conversation of Kevin Hart drives attention to you. So now you put your relationship with me in jeopardy because you want to try. I could give a fuck, but... You want to capitalize off of a yeah, Kevin yeah, Hart yeah, cheating yeah. scandal? That becomes your bits. Ah, Kevin Hart, what the fuck? I'm, all right. Okay, Mike. I guess. Mike. What the fuck was that? <laughs> First of all, that's what Michael Blackson do. Michael Blackson makes fun of everybody. From Bill Cosby to Birdman when he came here trying to choke you. Mm -hmm. To Tyrese. And Tyrese was a nigga that I didn't know that well. And I climbed this nigga to the fullest. And he got such a sense of humor that he called me and later on I got kidnapped. You know, so I didn't understand why another comedian. We are comedians, we there is no, we talk about everything. You know, we and I didn't one thing we don't we don't touch family, we don't touch wife, we don't touch kids. You know, if he never made a video, went on there and about to cry and look so stupid. He just made it so easy for a nigga like me. But aren't you guys friends? Or were friends? We go way back. At from one, Philly? The Philly? From, well, Philly. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, he tried act like I wasn't from Philly. First, I, was in, I moved to Philly summer of 1989. Kevin was probably in, in diapers. So I was the original... He wasn't one, in diapers. I was probably one of the original Philadelphia comedians. You think about mm -hmm. Philadelphia comedians, you go to Comedy View back in the day, original from West Africa, but now raised in Philly, Michael Blackson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Philly, then my home... If without Philly, I would not be doing no comedy. Mm -hmm. Okay, me and Kev go way back. We all been locked up together before. All right, when I went to do the movie next Friday, Kevin Hart drove me to the airport for my audition back in 99. Mm -hmm. You know, we were niggas at one point. I don't know what happened, where the falling I fell out at, but lately I don't think he fucked me for some apparent reason. But it doesn't matter because I didn't do that because I don't fuck with him. I did it because that's what I do. I roast niggas. That fuck up. So but don't you think? That, but don't you so think in that situation when his house is in shambles and you like been there, so you've been there, Mike, we seen you cheating, on bro? And Mike, the niggas Mike, lit me up when they happened to me. You had major, major hype, and the other guy came here. Y'all mentioned my sex tape, and they made some jokes. <laughs> niggas lit my ass up. When you fuck up, you deserve whatever comes to you, and he know he deserved it. But I gotta ask you this: Were you guys not cool before you went in on him? Because you said you didn't know what happened, or was it because? of the jokes that you made? Uh, no, nah, it was probably before that. Mm -hmm. Because my thing, if I'm your guy, mm -hmm. the first post I would have made, what would you have done? The first call post me. I made? I would have made what you did. I'd have called yeah, Exactly. Yeah. But you didn't call him? You ain't give him that respect? He you, said they weren't friends anymore. Y'all was friends. Huh? Y'all was friends, but you ain't call him to say, Kev, you okay? You good? What's wrong? Listen, man, I had up? the same phone number since 1999. Kev has had 30 different numbers. If I'm his guy and I fuck up, if you my if you my homie, you post something and I know you got like two million followers, I would call you up, put that shit down. That, this is not a good time. And I respected that. That's to prove that we, he's not my so-called guy. But if he's my guy, you know what, Kev? I'm going to call you a bluff. Go ahead, piff my special right now. <laughs> but I put my money away. You say let's make money together, my nigga. You know Kev would, though. Kev would put you on the LOL put that, network. Put he said that, he would. He said he still network. would work the with you. the hell out of here, my nigga. What's wrong with the LOL network? Do you watch it? <laughs> Why are you trying to put me on there? <laughs> but that's, that's what he's special, so. Charlotte Jermaine Jackson, don't do that shit to me, my nigga, please. <laughs>
But in that situation, right? <laughs> Talk to me. With the cheating, and you was there because I seen you. When I see, I had a first of all, I I've never cheated. Oh. Hold on, your that's not a that's not George, George, Georgia Rain called listen, you out on y'all cheating. Don't understand. Man. You had your dick online. My dick, on my listen, my dick got his own page. Okay, my dick do his own thing. But <laughs> it, that's a long, very long story. No disrespect or safari, but my dick is is the champion. But make a long story longer, <laughs> like my dick. Oh my dick. Okay. Y'all just caught the stories at the wrong time. People don't understand. Like, with the whole thing, my dick going online. Mm-hmm. Say you penis. Know, Dick. His penis just sound little. He, right. he said he has penis. You have penis. I have a dick. Okay. <laughs> my dick going online. All right. Okay. Just wait a minute. All right. Let the man tell Leave my story, dick man. alone. Okay. Get his dick out your mouth. That was very undick like. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Tell dick. the story. Like my dick went online. First of all, it happened. Me and my girl. Every time I never. Every time I did something wrong, we had a temporary breakup. Mm-hmm. We had a temporary breakup. I went out of town, Super Bowl weekend, somewhere in Houston, some fucking thirsty beach. You just happened Got a to break up dick. Super Bowl weekend? We just happened, when we both went together, we had a big argument. She, you know, fuck you, fuck you too. I'm out, went out to Super Bowl. Some bitch, whatever she, the bitch did with my dick. Next thing you know, you a too. month later, a month later, me and my girl get back together. Mm-hmm. We engage, we laying in bed. All of a sudden, I go on social media and my dick is online. Uh, I know you were like, oh my God. I, was like, I said, listen, bitch, don't look at Instagram right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good time. In fact, Instagram is shut down. But no, well, all right, with, with that said, I'm sure Kev told his wife the same thing and she go on the gram and see you supposed to be a friend going in on Kev. So you got numerous times. You can see what you I hate. I was away. expecting everybody to roast me. I deserved it. He deserved You fuck up, you deserve it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. He's he, he should have made a video, nigga. Don't make it easy for a savage nigga like me. <laughs> you know. And if you had a problem, and I'm your guy, nigga. Let me know you're my guy. Hey, you know my nigga is not my guy. But then he might have you my like guy. It, pay for my special because two million dollars, motherfucker. I give it to me right but now. But he might have felt like he? if he. I'm saying to shoot it. I'm not saying I'm. I'm need a lot more than that. Okay, I'm gonna okay. need more than two million dollars for my shit, or y'all gotcha. will never see it, motherfucker. But he might have felt like if he reached out to you, you might have incorporated that into the job. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I did. Who I did? I think I did it to Bobby see? V. See? No, see? no, no, no. This, no, I, I, like, Bobby, I mean, you ain't shit, man. I ain't <laughs> shit. I'm a bitch ass nigga. Okay. You can put that online too. I am a bitch ass nigga. Bitch, you guys ain't shit. Okay? But no, I remember when I did the whole thing on a Z-list celebrity. Right. And I said, Bobby V, we don't want your money. He sent me a DM like, damn, Mike, for real? And I screenshot and posted it. But I wouldn't do that to Kev. How would he know that? <laughs> yeah, how would he know that? I'm saying he would have called me. How you fuck I'm going to record this shit and play it? Okay. Right. But it do seem like it go past a little with jokes with Kev. Listen, it do you seem guys like you made just a, a little bit. You ahead everybody called. I listened to the fucking radio station. Okay, hold People on. People called in. Listen, everybody said the nigga was play, sensitive. Play Phase On right now. This is Phase On. We Phase On, Phase On talked about it. Everybody ain't say he was sensitive. Oh, you're talking about when the phone calls? Yeah, yeah, the phone call. Your regular audience, your niggas yeah. that listened to you okay. thought that Kev was sensitive. It was about even. She was the only nigga that was on my side. No disrespect. The light skin nigga, I didn't expect much from you. <laughs> <laughs> but you getting lighter and you almost like this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it did sound like hate. Charlotte though. Jermaine Jackson, <laughs> Leonard. Hey, listen to what Faze on Love said. Michael Blackson, that's that's like him talking about you. Oh, I do it all the time. But no, but time. not on some real oh, person. No, 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 not on no shit. Not, oh, not, not on, on no serious shit. Not when it comes to cheating on my family. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, that's some shit that he really got to deal with. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin was right. He was he was doing some old like, nigga. You want that much attention? I can give you attention. You know, I like Michael, but come on, man. This is rules to mm-hmm. they both from Philly. I don't know, you know, Michael's got that African thing. So but I was like, come on, man. Face on sound hungry. He just wanted something to eat. <laughs> the nigga, we don't when you're hungry, you don't think straight. He also said Dave Chappelle was not funny. So we can't take everything Face on says seriously. That's my nigga. God I damn, love him you to got death. A point with that one. God <laughs> damn, Michael. God That's my nigga, damn. I love him. But you know what it is? Is Look at what Bill Cosby did. Bill could go to jail for his shit, and we all lit. I'm, I got a five minute material on Bill Cosby. You but that's know what I'm saying? He was I don't think. Women, but he, was illegal. he did something illegal. Yeah, that's a crime. Well, you read that you can't. That is more sensitive to touch than cheating. Everybody cheats. 
But you know how hard it is to fix it when you do. Oh and my goodness! Michael Jackson ain't trying to fix nothing. He went on live after he got cheated. I'm not a fixer. I'm not a fucking. I'm not a real doctor. I'm so happy I'm single. I'm not. I'm a fucking voodoo doctor. I'm not a real fucking. I'm not Doctor Phil. I'm not here to put niggas together. I'm here to fuck shit up and clown niggas. Fuck everybody. Fuck the Breakfast Club. Let's let's hear some more from his peers. Let's let's go to OG Sinbad. You gotta respect Sinbad, right? Let's hear Sinbad. He's still alive. You know this, man? Sometimes comics who are not as funny as you are the one Hollywood picks. You out here killing it, and they grab this cat, but I can't get mad because it had been me, would I have been mad? If it had been me, would I be mad? So all I can do is like this. I got to just keep moving. You almost got to put blinders on like, like horses when they race. You know they put blinders on so they can't see the other horses. Right. Because if I see the other horses, it throws me off. So I just keep running. Do I get mad sometimes? Yeah, I get mad, but I won't speak on a cat because he's doing something with it. He's making money, and, he, and he's taking care of his family. I'm like this. How can I get mad? He's got the dream I want. Mm-hmm. So all I got to do is got to keep pushing for the dream. And sometimes you don't get the dream. Sometimes great people get passed over, mm-hmm. and that's the hardest part. Do you feel like you're being what passed over? What the fuck over? is he talking about? Yeah, I didn't even, uh, so. I don't know. What was that about? Do you feel like you're being was passed over, Was that about over, my, my sister's original with me and Kat? Yes. I didn't know that. I didn't know what the nigga was talking Yeah, about. taking out of context, you don't know what that. I told about. him what it was. So I, what did he say? Well, do you feel like you're being passed over? By who? Just in general. No, not at all. Let me tell you something. I came to this country with absolutely nothing. I came here when I was about 13 years old. My mother lived in people's basement. She worked at McDonald's, made $50 a week. We ate Big Mac and fucking French fries every day for years. Where I've at in my career right now is to pass my dream. My dream was to get a job at McDonald's to send Fifty dollars a month to my family back home. Mm. The kind of money I'm making now and the life that I'm living now, I didn't ask for this. Anything right now is a all blessing, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm not. I didn't. My dream was not to come to America and become a Hollywood star, you know. Comedy was a gift that God gave me to make fun, and and I'm doing a great job at it. The one thing it could never take away from me is me being funny and me having a fan base. Everywhere I go, I sell out shows. I make good money. Absolutely. I cannot complain. You could never take away if I was a straight actor and I'm doing all this. Shit, and I'm losing friends. It's okay, but you could never take away comedy. That's why. That's why I said Monique is good. She could always make money because she has stand-up comedy. That's just something they could never take away from us. Mm-hmm. But so you, you got pass over, not pass over. I don't give a fuck. I'm a great comedian. I make niggas laugh in real life, on the streets, on social media, and that's all the fuck that matters. I'm that real nigga. Do you think you and Kevin could ever be cool again? Because you told TMZ you want to fight him. I'm, you know the reason because I thought I when, when I when when I was on TMZ, I think that's next thing I know. I think I put a video of him. Boxing, I'm like, I think I want to fight. So I, fe- I thought he want to fight me. Hey, listen, <laughs> <laughs> I thought nigga want to fight me. So I decided to go in the gym, and then I realized I'm a little out of shape. You know, I, I kind of want to fight that nigga to get over with, but I'm scared. Why, I'm scared man? though because midgets hit hard, <laughs> and that nigga is a midget with a regular nigga's head. You know, and I'm, all of this, you know what? I'm, I'm low key jealous of who, Kev? Why? Because when he did his thing, he had two bitches. I had one. Oh my God! I'm just a bitch. He just keep going. He just keep going. Dude. Well, keep that's not true going. because according to Georgia Rain, there were about three or four women. But he had them all at one time. I had mine's one. Stop at trying a time. to deflect from Georgia Rain. Now let's talk about her for a second. <laughs> she said that you're not mentally strong enough to be with one woman. Do you think you have some mental issues when it comes to being in a monogamous relationship? I could be. Well, no, that's not true. I think I'm. I'm. I could definitely be in a monogamous relationship. Monogamous. But you African. It's in your blood. You pulled that more than one. This word. How many wife you have? One. Why we never met your wife? Nobody have seen a picture yeah, of your wife. Yeah, we met her, and there's pictures online of them. Unfortunately. I looked, I looked for his wife, and this nigga, another picture of him came up. <laughs> a darker picture of this nigga came up when I looked for his wife. Are you married to a woman, motherfucker? I want to see pictures of your wife today. I'm not leaving the breakfast club to this dinner, motherfucker. To this dinner's club. Where is your wife's picture right now? I'm not posting them, ever. Why we never... It was, it was one that came you out seen last her? week, though. Yes, I've seen, seen it before. You are all a bunch of liars. No, no, we, I, I want to see. We actually we talked to her, too. She can speak. Oh, yeah, she's not a sex dog. She's a real human being. <laughs> she's beautiful. I'm about to get a sex dog. Don't let him deflect from Georgia Rain. You go back yeah, to my so wife. We will go back. I want to see his nigga's wife. <laughs> right, we'll come back to that. I know, I got, here you go. Leonard. Beautiful. Why you look so angry? Because that's just how you be looking. That's anxiety. I be having anxiety, man. There you go. Spot it out together. See? 
Now let's get back to Georgia. Don't Ray. think too hard. <laughs> you think so? You think of a joke? You think of a joke right now? No, I don't touch wives. No, I don't. Oh, now you don't touch wives. I never you, touch oh, wives. Oh, now you're right. You never did clown Kev's wife. You right, never. Right. 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 All right. So yeah, let's talk about what. So what exactly happened? And do you miss her because that was your woman? We done seen y'all on TV together. She's all over the place. She seems like a great catch. You seemed like you loved her. You were engaged. What happened? I mean, we're cool. She's a great woman. We are cool. Mm -hmm. See that. I, I don't want to get too much into details. Oh, no, said, no, get into the details. Let me, hold on, let me hit her up and ask her what happened right oh, now. Because she did got, hit me. Oh, you want to hear what she said? Play the clip from Georgia Ray. <laughs> <laughs> what clip you have? <laughs> Are you really calling her? Mm -hmm. I don't care. No, okay, I'm not really going to call her. You call her, I don't, make crazy. Crazy. I don't, I don't give a damn. Now, man, we are cool. Yeah, she did a whole letter, a self-love letter, an open letter. It was Valentine's Day. She missed me. That's what it was. But, I mean, is that something, because you said you guys had broken up and gotten back together. Would you love to give it another try, or do you feel like you're not mentally You know what? We'll see what happens. So you do want to give it another try. We'll see what happens. What well, the law has in place for us. But you but you know what caused her to speak out was you clowning Kev, though. Because she was like, how he going to talk about somebody cheating? That's what she was said? Yeah. No, no. I read. You mean read? She, she will always be Tim Blackson. <laughs> she always what? She will always be Tim Blackson. You think mm. so? Yeah. Once she gave her the mutumbo, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Once a woman you give her a blood infection, she always on your side. This guy is crazy. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> shit about that, do you? <laughs> we got one more of your comedic peers who had something to say. Wait, about two it. more. Which, and which, which way? And then we can go? move on. No, it's only one more. It's two. It is. Oh, we got two more. God damn. Two more people for you to roast. Play uh, Tony Rock first? Tony Rock. Play Tony right. Rock. I'm sure Kev knew comics are gonna comics are gonna have a ball with this. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we do. Something happens, anybody gets in trouble, they gotta know comics are grabbing pins and running to the pad. You know what I'm saying? It seems to me, and I they not neither one of them is like my ride or die one day one day one dude, but they both cool with me. Mm -hmm. Right. But it seems to me like, yo, Mike, you can let it go now. It's over. It's like Kev's trying to fix home, like he said. You made your jokes. You made your jokes. It, it's no more to squeeze out of the juice, squeeze out of the lemon. Like mm -hmm. you got it all. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, there's always more to get out of the lemon. I squeeze <laughs> the lemon to the shit left out of it. Mm -hmm. Why do you look like well, you know pressure what? Be, right let now. me tell you, some you know, those guys. Hey, sometimes to be great, you have to touch things that other people want. You mm. can't be afraid of anything, mm -hmm. and that's why I have no fear in me. Listen, I came. from... I came from a village. I, I ate with my hands and I walked barefooted. You think I give a fuck about anything? I'm a warrior. I'm not afraid of anything. I talk about, I speak my mind. That's what America's about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, don't, there's no rules in roasting people. But see, seeing how it did affect him at that time, and it he was affects. clearly upset. Seeing that he was upset. Yeah, do, do you feel like I'm not, I'm not. I'm not here to worry about people's feelings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I surgically removed my feelings 10 years ago. I have none. That's not true. I have no <laughs> feelings. What made you, what's the last, when's the last time you had feelings for something? Shit, uh, when Georgia left him, he was almost crying on on Instagram. When when, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, I almost cried. They That's did cry, team. yeah, yeah. We seen that there. <laughs> but what's the last time? Was... It did. What happened to your Cowboys? Are they okay? No. Them niggas. <laughs> last year, y'all niggas were losing in practice. How you losing practice? I don't know, man. First of all, I was standing with Cap last year, so I didn't even watch sports. I didn't watch football. That's last a damn year. lie. I was standing with Cap. Okay, motherfucker. I'm standing for racial injustice. So, let's get back to you. You have a Netflix special. Coming. I'm about to. I'm about to. Sh I'm shooting it this summer. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. I'm gonna shoot it in Philly. How much they give you? This how it work. No, I'm doing no different. I'm gonna shoot it and then I'm gonna sell it to them. Okay. If they don't give me the right money, I'm gonna hold on to it that the right money comes. That's what Chappelle did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's the plan. I, mean, I don't have no deal. They're not paying for it. I'm spending my own money. I'm gonna shoot it and I'm. Uh, but gonna they sell are it. talking to you already. They know. They're talking to my people. Okay. My people are talking to them. Did you stick your toe in the water just to see what they would give you? I mean, I know what I'm worth. Yeah, yeah. But what are you worth? I can't. I, I pay child support. My baby, she's listening. <laughs> I can't. I don't talk too much about money. All of this is fake. <laughs> it's not a real lamp. Nothing is real on me. Do you think that's the way for comedians to go to shoot your own special and then sell it? You think that is kind of the best method? It is. Even with TV shows nowadays, if you have an idea, even with a movie, shoot your movie and go sell it. Don't sit around and wait for people. Mm hmm if I'm gonna sit around for Netflix to put put something together, you know, then after they put it together, then I gotta go shoot the shit anyway. So go get it done. If you believe in yourself, put your money in yourself. Right. And that's what I'm doing. I'm investing in myself. I mean, that's the beauty thing, the beauty about social media, right? Because it's, it it's been you very your important audience. in your career. Yeah. yeah. I have my own audience. I have a bunch of million followers. If I put something out, they're gonna go support it. You know, if they don't, if Netflix don't give me what I want, hey, I just put the shit out myself. You go pay ten dollars and watch it. And I'm gonna get more than that. Um, you know. 
twenty million dollars. If I go that route. Now, now you moved to Southwest Philly when you was twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Well, my first two years in the states, I was in Newark, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. I moved to Philly when I was about fourteen, fifteen. Were you ever ashamed of being African? Never. I was always proud, and that's I mean, the, and don't get it wrong, they clowned me a lot when I mm-hmm. came. I came in the era of like African Prince. nations back then used to get joked all the time. Nobody was claiming being a foreigner back then. Jamaicans mm-hmm. weren't claiming Jamaican because all the Americans did was make fun of them. It was in the era of uh, the barge and you know Prince, and Michael Jackson. Like Jackson. Yeah, it was your time. You was the shit back <laughs> then. It was popping back then. You know, things didn't work out for me until Wesley Snipes came out and my life changed. Mm-hmm. You know, but it, it was tough and kids clowned me. And all I did was defend myself all the time. You know, and where the comedy, when did I start becoming a comedian is like when I realized what it takes to fit in. Mm-hmm. And when I came to America, back then in the, in the 80s in Africa, where, you know, I spent a lot of time, I was in Liberia, you know, in Liberia and most of Africa, women just cared about you having new clothes. New clothes is what like made a woman like you. She's like, oh my God, he has new clothes. So I came to America, I couldn't wait for my first day of school. My mother... Took me to McCorries and Woolworth. Would McCorries you know about that? You know about that. I know yeah, Woolworth. Yeah. Woolworth and McCorries went and got me some brand new clothes. There ain't no names. I know my first sneakers was called In Action. <laughs> okay? I had a brand <laughs> a new collar shirt, some new pants. I went to school. I said, I got some new clothes. I'm going to get all these bitches and shit on all these niggas. I go to school. The motherfuckers clowning me like, what the fuck you wearing? I said, what you mean I'm wearing? This is new. They say it's not Nike, it's not Adidas. I said, nigga, it's brand new. It's never been used. <laughs> so I realized the fit then you got to wear name brand because even back then, they didn't care how, how uncute you was. Mm-hmm. If you were some name brand shit, bitches assume you have money and they was going to date you. Mm-hmm. So all those happened in, in Jersey. But so by the time I got to Philly, I knew what it took to fit in. I got had a job working at Domino's Pizza, delivering pizzas on a bike. I made about $50 a night tip money. I saved about $1,500. Mm-hmm. Went shopping, bought all the banging shit. I went to school. Everybody thought I was a drug dealer. <laughs> they had no idea I was dealing pepperoni and anchovies. Mm. You know, so once I had good clothes on, expensive clothes, then all of a sudden people want to be my friend. You know, and I was back then. You're dark skin and you wore jewelry and nice clothes. You automatically what? Drug a dealer. drug dealer. Mm-hmm. So I'm dark skin with an accent. And when you had an accent back then, Africans were. It wasn't that many Africans in America at that time. It was mostly Jamaicans. Mm-hmm. So you had an accent, you automatically Jamaican. Right. They had they didn't give a fuck where you from, nigga. You are Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Every day they sing that song to me. That song, come back to Jamaica. You know that song? <laughs> yeah. That there Jamaican Airlines yeah. song? <laughs> we made it for you. I said, nigga, I'm African. They said, nigga, whatever, you Jamaican. <laughs> so here I am, I bet I was very quiet. In America, the less they know about you, the more fear they have. Mm-hmm. I'm a dark skinned nigga that's quiet and wear jewelry. They think I'm a drug dealer, just leave this nigga alone. So when they started leaving me alone, that's when I started making fun of niggas. What you got on? Well, you got this. And then when I got out of high school, I was still working at Domino's. And one of my coworkers said, you know, you funny. Take that shit to open mic. And that's how comedy started. Well, wow. pe- people always oh, say that. Oh, hold people, on. Pe- oh. This in from Georgia Rain. Really? The chick with the beard. You slept with a chick with a beard? Ah, oh, please, whatever. She, she, she no, she's she saying the chick with a beard means that the beard... Uh, people date women when they really be no, with guys. No, that's not what she's saying. <laughs> what she, she said say? that you had. She said some chick that had some kind of. It was some some fan that acted so like. So you said with a girl who had a beard. I ain't never sleep with this bitch. So with what a beard. is she talking about? She just she looking for a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you texted her, ye? She did text her. Yeah, I really did. Tell so, her call in. Give her the hotline like, number. This chick with a beard. And oh God. Give her the hotline number. Did she number, just have some facial hair? And she need to just she give her the goddamn hotline number. I'm just saying, nothing's off limits, right? Give so, her the hotline number. She could call. I don't. <laughs> she said, "Don't say nothing bad, or she'll come up here next." Could you give her the hotline number? I, I never said nothing bad. <laughs> now I told her you didn't say anything always, bad. I will always love her. She's my, she's my boo. So it was just a girl with a little facial hair, because some women do have. A little <laughs> Why are you yeah, fucking girls with beards, <laughs> nigga? She bitch don't have a beard. This nigga, she's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> now, a bitch with a beard. <laughs> now people say that your African accent isn't real, right? And Charlie Mack said that he's the one who told you to take on the African Charlie accent. Charlie took credit for everything. Then they got say he told me, he told Tyrese to do what he did to me. I'm like, Charlie's my nigga. We all go away. Mm-hmm. Charlie's one of the first niggas I met in Philly. You know, mm-hmm. Charlie's the original Philly guy. My thing, when I go on stage, I go on stage with this anger. And my anger comes, the more accent comes out. And that's why they see more of an accent on stage mm-hmm. than when they see me in person. I have a green card, motherfucker. I, you know what I'm saying? That's how... African I am. I'm not even a citizen of this country yet. And I've been here forever. So nobody he, nobody can deny my Africans no. So you're here working illegally. 
No, green card. You see, you, you don't even know shit about no, your no. customs. He has a green card. Green card means I can live here as long as I want. I just got to renew that shit every fucking amount of years. Okay. I can't fuck up anymore. I can't do because you commit a crime and you get deported. Mm-hmm. So you just got to be good, stay out of trouble, and you could go in and out of country as much as, much as you want. And I'm cool with that. I am I don't have to be a citizen of this country. Should I say the rest of this or no? Tell you her to call leave. in. I'm trying. She can call in if she wants. Okay. Now, what happened with Tyrese while she's getting her to call in? And didn't the police Tyrese. really show up? Yeah, they did show up. There's a reason. Tyrese is such a great actor. And ain't nothing wrong. That nigga think that nigga was crazy. Ain't fucking thing wrong with Tyrese. Whatever he was trying to accomplish, he accomplished. Because I think his shots book got cut in half after that. Mm. After the 13000 a month, <laughs> right. one more you want from me, it got cut in cut half. half. right. Right. So he played it well. But uh, Tyrese has such a great sense of humor when all that's happened. And like I said, I never made fun of his daughter. I never made fun of his woman. Or I just made fun of... And it took me a while to even think about making fun of this guy. With Kev, it was no thinking. He's a comedian. He knows it's coming. With Tyrese, I'm like, I don't really know this nigga. So you there are I mean? boundaries, of course, you said. I mean, Always. it depends on... I tried not to... I, I thought I took some time to think about Tyrese because I run into him a lot. In, in You know, we, we live... I mean, in Hollywood, it's so small. Mm-hmm. So I run into him a lot. So, you know, I mean, I've been to his party. We've shook hands, you know. We dark skinned guys, like I said, we recognize each other when we see each other. Mm-hmm. But then after, like, the second video, I'm like, okay, Tyrese, you, you get in one more video, you're going to get this. <laughs> okay, that's it, Tyrese, you're getting it. <laughs> and I did it, but I did mine. He felt like what I did was all uh, joke, joke, jokes. It was funny. He laughed at it, especially when I was trying to trade him for two light-skinned niggas. So he, he thought everything I did was funny, and that's why he contacted me mm-hmm. and let's do something. Let's bring light to this. And we did. And it, Now, the reason why the cops got involved, because a, a person that I know, and I didn't have his number stored in my phone, he texted me that night after the first post went off, as Tyrese Adler, he pretty much took my phone. And he said, yo, Mike, is this shit real? I said, fuck you, nigga. This is Tyrese. This ain't no game. So that nigga called the cops. No. <laughs> the cops really he was concerned. Police, yes, the state trooper police came, helicopters came over his oh house. Oh, my gosh. And I didn't find this out till like, I I'm, I woke up the next morning. and So you fell asleep tied up at Tyrese's house? No, no, no. No, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> home. <laughs> okay. I'm home laying next to Georgia. <laughs> and then, you know, I woke up and I found out that uh, this shit happened. Mm-hmm. So then TMZ tried to get in touch with me. I told my guys, tell them niggas you don't know where I'm at. So we had that's like let's ride, let's see how long we ride this shit, and that's how they started following us to like Mr. Charles, everything they did, they followed us, and then eventually I said, "Linga, it's time for me to go on the road. I gotta make some promo. I gotta get my fucking phone back." You know, but it was all fun and good. You know, even a guy like him had a sense of humor. I just, you know, Kevin. Uh, I gotta give a shot. Kevin is one of the hardest working guy in the business. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. and what I like about him, he made everybody step their game up. You know what I'm saying? And and I would never hit on this guy. He was like our little brother. We watched him grow. He watched him came and passed every one of us and went to a whole different level. And we respect him. We support him. Last time I saw him in person, I went to go, I went to support him, and when he shot his special at the football field mm-hmm. in Philly. In Philly, right? That's the last time I saw him face to face. You know, we shook hands and gave a hug, and then we just kept it moving. You know. Did, but, did um, you ever try to reach out to him just to say what's up or before all of this? I, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing time, my own thing. A lot of times when people get success, it's not them that change, it's people around them that change. Well, his, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, my thing, if I see him, or, you know, I might big him up on, like, on a movie, maybe if I, a, a movie is here, maybe I might be like, you know, shout out to Kev. I've done something like that, but he's busy doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, you know, and like I said, his number has changed. I've had the same number. Yeah, yeah. So I can't really, you know. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I've, I have no ill feeling to him. Right. I love him as a little brother. We got Kev on the line right now. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, Georgia, this is Georgia. Rain is on That's the line. Georgia. She sound like Kevin. <laughs> Good morning, Georgia. How are you? This is the Breakfast Club. DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. This is shoot have, your shot. Good we morning. have your fiance, Michael Blackson, here. Is he still your fiance? Excuse me? My who? Your fiance. Your fiance. Yeah, my ex. What's up? <laughs> now, Georgia, do you still talk to Michael because he says you guys are still cool with each other? Yeah, we're still cool. We're cordial. What did, what did you think when he was making fun of Kevin Hart for cheating? Um, you know, at first I was like, "You're a fucking hypocrite," but then I was like, "You know, they're not that cool." So, I mean, I guess he he had the leverage to say whatever. Mm-hmm. All but right, you well, definitely think he was a hypocrite. Why do you think he was a hypocrite? <laughs> he said he never cheated on you. So why would you think he's a hypocrite? He never said that. Yeah, I was about to say how many days out of the year for three and a half years, but. I 
you know, uh, I just thought it was a hypocrite because I'm like, nigga, you just had your dick online. You You're know? Really? I told you. Now, yeah, he talked... Just- he told us that day in particular, he told you not to look at Instagram <laughs> because when his dick showed up online, <laughs> he was like, whatever you, you know do, what? don't. It was like 7 a.m. Um, West Coast time. We're in, we're, we live in L.A., so it was like 7, 7 o'clock in the morning. And when I rolled over, the first thing he said was, I'm about to sue their ass. Don't look on Instagram. And I'm like, what? Which made you go look on Instagram. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Dumb I, motherfucker. Like What's 30, wrong with you, Mike? I had like 30 missed calls, and my homegirl lived in a building, and she called me and was like, Get off your phone. Come meet me outside. Uh-oh. And I was like, what the fuck? But before I got out of the bed, he was like, yes, I think my ex put an old video out. And I was like, oh, my God, this dude. Now, let's talk about this woman, though. You said now, Let's talk had... about this dick. Is this dick bigger than Safari's? Who's, whose dick is bigger? What? He said it is. Why, why, why would she know that? what Safari's dick looked like? She said it was online. <laughs> First of all, uh, listen, I don't know whose dick is bigger, okay? I don't care. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think Safari got the bigger bitch. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. That was good timing, Georgia. Wow. wow, you set that one up great. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> you got him up here about to cry. <laughs> now, Georgia, I know you guys have broken up and gotten That's back together. That's the bitch with the beard, motherfucker. But, <laughs> before, would you get back together with him again? <laughs> well, Michael, Michael is, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say because he's. He's a fucking psychopath. Like, he'll, we will break up, but then he'll find a way to, like, contact me. Like, I know you're hungry. Come downstairs. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> Women are always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> they they could have just ate an hour ago, and then they still want to eat. <laughs> she is one greedy motherfucker. I know how to get her. I got to say, hey. Do you love him, Michael? Do you love Georgia? Of course. Georgia, do you love Michael? That's my nigga. Then what's the problem? Like, y'all, y'all can work through I'm things. I'm going to tell you the problem. The problem, she just sent me pictures of this woman with the beard. Now, Let me what see the was, beard. What Is was it this? a real beard? Georgia, tell me about this situation. <laughs> Let me see the beard, ye. It's a real fucking beard. You know, it was his birthday uh, last year. Let me see, man. And all of a, all of a sudden, I get a random um, DM from a fan was like, hey, I follow you on this random Let me see. Nah, it's Let it's me a little see. fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy. See. He got a little fuzz, peach fuzz. I got some masseuse. I got a massage and fell asleep. <laughs> and this. Love the chin. Oh, fucking beard. That's a you thing. fell asleep around a girl, man? No, what she was. it was a massage. I didn't even sleep no with that one. goddamn massage, Trust me, man. it was. This might have been Trust karma me. for what happened to Kevin and you making fun of him. I'm going to be honest with you. The thing about it... If, who is this young man, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> you can't, Michael, Michael, come on, Michael. Who is this That's young not, man? That motherfucker You've been in Hollywood was, too long, man. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. She know better. Georgia, she know better. I don't know, Georgia. <laughs> she know better. That's a massage. Man. That's a masseuse. Somebody with a beard massage you. Oh, my goodness. Why would you even put this <laughs> fucking woman online? Now she's going to be... <laughs> now you're going to have more problems. She is, don't put that motherfucking picture online. Please don't. <laughs> Hey guys, now you I've can't never be- heard Michael Blackson <laughs> copping pleas before. That's a, don't. I'm just looking out for her. Shot. I'm looking out for her safety. Like, don't put it okay, in my Okay, we, we won't put it up online. Don't that's do already that. on Instagram. He yeah, but it's nobody going to know. It's old. It's not on your show. Your show got a lot more following. I don't know, know, Michael. You come out your mouth Wait, one on, more I'm time. Let's listen to what Georgia's saying. Can we listen to Georgia, please? I'm sorry, Georgia. I didn't, I didn't put the bitch online. She posted pictures on his birthday wishing her happy, a happy birthday. Oh, wow. That's a lot. You a messy tot, tot Michael. Why Georgia, so is, the, is the problem that Michael just needs to come clean with you and just kind of tell you really what went down and then maybe you'll consider it? You know what? I, I just took her to eat. I don't, even care. I don't even care about what went down, you know, in the past because it's like I've made so much progress and I realize I am a crazy bitch. So it's like, okay, I know. I Thank you, Jesus. You admitted to it. The devil is a liar. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that I have. I'm crazy, but the thing is, I don't even want him to admit to nothing that he's done. I thought in this is my interview. It's just that keep your fucking dick in your pants, especially when you got my dick is here right now. I'm gonna be honest with you, Michael. God wanted this to happen. She, she's there for you and your kids, so fucking. Respect she could just come to my place and they call security to let her up. That's all. So, what do you think you need to do to move forward, Georgia? Get something to eat. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Damn, you really hungry? Yeah, you need to get back I to mean, Michael. I mean, really, what do you... Because <laughs> it seems like y'all still, like you both said, y'all still love each other. So is this something that you guys are currently working on? Oh, you Dr. Phil now. Who are you? <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> He's just trying to help your whack ass, okay? Yeah, let me help. Did you say black or whack? Both. Whack. God damn, you really don't like him. No, but she has to do this to him. He done messed up a few times too many. Yeah, too many times, too many times publicly. That's the thing. You know, when you when something happens behind closed doors, <laughs> you can work it out. 
But when something happens publicly, it's like, oh, my God, it's an embarrassment. It's humiliation. But then it continues to happen. It's like, okay, well, she just with a fucking sex addict, and she ain't going to learn that she's retarded. Just take some you selfies know? with Safari. But you do know he's African, so it's in his blood. He need to have more than one wife now. You know what, Charlemagne? Don't do that. <laughs> Michael, you think His that, name is Leonard. Michael, you think you're a sex addict? <laughs> no, I'm not a sex addict. You see how you feel right now? Uh-huh. That's how Kevin Hart felt when you was right. going at him all those times. I don't, I, but not, I don't, what if I. What? I what? deserve. What? 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 <laughs> they want a fix. That's a fix. They want a fix. That's a fix. I don't care. <laughs> I don't he care. He cares. I have no feelings towards. If I do anything wrong, I deserve everything. I don't everything. believe you, man. I, trust me, I deserve anything. Georgia got that the comes Georgia like got the, the ammo to, to hurt you. Georgia no, can penetrate you. Let me tell you something, Mister <laughs> Michael Jackson. His ass care because if he didn't care, this is the thing. He was already planning on getting the world's worst. Don't get me wrong. But when Kevin said that shit, he was like, "Oh, fuck this motherfucker! I'm about to go buy me a fucking two hundred thousand dollar car and shit on the nigga." I'm like, so you care? Those are these Michael, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. You spent two hundred thousand dollars. It was more than that, but it was no. It was my birthday present. I was doing it regardless. It was a birthday present oh, for myself. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Whose side are you on, Georgia? Georgia, Georgia. Do you think you Mike- are not eating today when I put that? <laughs> Georgia, do you think Michael hates on Kev just a little bit? Just a little bit. You know, I don't think he hates on him. I just think it's like you want to play. Like, you know, it's like growing up with somebody and then they all of a sudden act like you're not there. They don't know you. You know, you will feel a certain way too. But the thing is, I think with Kev, Kev knows Michael is competition. So he's never going to like, you know, t- t- turn, um, shine his way. But he fucked up when he came on you guys' show and mentioned his name. So this nigga, Michael, is the pettiest nigga I've ever known, like myself. <laughs> so he's never going to let go. He's never going to give up. I don't care if his, if he's married to your fucking mom. He's just not going to let go. And Kev just opened up a can of worms, and it's going to take a lot for Michael Blackson to, to not roast his ass. Well, he's, he said he want Kev to pay for his special. He want Kev to pay for his special. Hey, he said I'm his guy. I was calling his bluff. I don't need him, but hey, go ahead. Put that money up, I think nigga. the two of them, first of all, I think the two of them could potentially make up. You know, hopefully you and Talk Kevin will. But Michael now I'm talking Michael about, Kev. but yes. Oh. So for, for Georgia and Michael. So where are we at now, Georgia? Is this something that is... What the, what this turn into? <laughs> I don't know what you got yourself into. I didn't know this was happening, Mike. I'm going to be yeah, honest yeah. with you. How do you get her wanted, number? I wanted to talk to you about current events and shit. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Can you... Where the button is? Where do you hang up? This is a current event. Where is the button? <laughs> how you hang up on this motherfucker? <laughs> hang up on Georgia, man. No, jo- hang up on her. All right, Georgia. Hang up on Georgia. We appreciate you, Georgia. This is my interview, Georgia. Thank you, Georgia. I'll feed you when I get home. <laughs> feed you with this dick. Now, now oh, you want to say that after she hung up, though? <laughs> you wait till she yeah, hung up, though? As soon as that, ring, <laughs> that dial tone came on? Now, let's, you know what goes around the Listen, let's play one more of his peers. This is your last peer. This is, oh, uh, this is Marlon Wayne. Oh, man. And this is him speaking on you and Kev's situation. You know, we need a it's good to, with your peers and with your friends to make fun and have fun with each other. Kev knows, you know, in, 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 in times of crisis, I would never blow a spot. Um, I'm always supportive or whatever situation. I got nothing but love. I never come from hate. When people come at me about, hey, you know, Kev ain't funny or Kevin, nigga, that motherfucker's doing it at one of the highest levels. Now, I never disagree with that. Right. Mm-hmm. He's definitely doing it at a very high level. Um, that was the wrong. I mean, it wasn't fucked up anyway. Was it wasn't. I, what I did was not hating. I was just making jokes. That's mm-hmm. what I do. Mm-hmm. I make fun. But then it just it seems like it's Your audience personal. told y'all, y'all the only niggas that have problem. Because so you cheated, right? Yes, I've cheated before. All the time. I was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pretty you think bad. you didn't deserve to be lit up? You didn't deserve to be donkey of the fucking week? No, if they gave me donkey today, I, w- I would understand, but I wouldn't want my man, I wouldn't want Envy to keep, Envy got okay. caught cheating too, and I didn't go in so on So if him. Envy wasn't your man, then was that okay for him to do that? To cheat? No, 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 to make fun of you. To, to make you dunk of the day. If he wasn't your yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I would still I would still think a man uh, would understand though. Cause all of us could get caught cheating. But you know what? He's so they're Kevin's comedians. Not my, it, they're comedians, so it does make it a little different when you're a but comedian. But it still gotta be some guy code though. Like, you know what I'm a saying? There gotta be some code. guy code. Too. You just gotta have some understanding. Nah, I'm sorry, man. That's just uh, uh that's that's being sensitive. You cannot be sensitive. You can't be a comedian and be sensitive. If you do have it, you can show it. Can we make you and Kev cool today? Can y'all be cool? I look, I don't have a problem with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no problem, but you know, you, I light air, but you do fuck up, do some fucked up shit, I would light you up. If you have a problem mm-hmm. with what you think I'm doing and it's causing you a problem at home or whatever, which I don't really think it was causing too much of a problem mm-hmm. at home. You know what I mean? Shit. But I if was it like, was, would you say sorry? 
Sorry to Would what? Would you apologize if, to it who? Called, if it was causing them problems at home? <laughs> if it was stressful, hard. If it was, if it was, if he said to you, Michael, pregnant, he's probably it's going causing me like problems at home, you caused hell in my household. Would you apologize? If you if you'd have called me and told me that? Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, if it's, I mean yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't want to see my homie go down like that. But I don't think, I didn't think it was that serious. Right. You know, at the end of the day, he, he, he did something and people clowned him. I, when I did my shit, I got clowned. Look, y'all just put out the beer, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And my boys came out here. We didn't put it out. Now, nah, I didn't man, have that. Was, that was a massage I got. And I, I don't see, know, bro. bro. You said a massage I, I, I massage that I, I had got. I don't know got. about that because there's like different pictures with her wearing different clothes. Now, I, had a, I had a stalking uh, uh, fan. Was it a fan or a massage? A boat. Okay. Well, you you That's performing this week? Uh, we forgot. No, no, no. I'm here. <laughs> well, I'm promoting. The, you know, we on the, the Martin tour starts March 31st. My guy Martin, y'all gonna be at the Barclays? Yes, I'm coming. Well, to I'm that. not doing. I'm I'm done. I'm not doing Barclays because I just did Brooklyn like last weekend. So okay, I'm, I'm so next. Can. Um, the 31st we're in Atlanta City at the Broadwalk Hall. Mm-hmm. Then we do LA. Then we we'll do Oakland. I'm doing. I think I do about ten dates with Martin. Would you roast Martin if he got in some stuff? Martin, fuck up. He would get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Mike Epps. Everybody. I'm on tour. Mike Epps. Also, we got a few dates, and then uh, of course I'm doing my own thing. Just follow me on Instagram, and you see my dates. Has anybody ever tried to fight you like for real? Gotten mad when they got roasted or really? That's the thing. I'm you? shocked. Nobody ever. I ran into Burr, man. I thought he was gonna choke Ooh, me, yeah. but then he gave me a hug and he gave me a pound. So that's when I see when I see hardcore he niggas you? like that. No, he didn't kiss me. Why would he kiss me, my nigga? <laughs> What's this light skin shit come out of you? <laughs> he was trying what to make, a, was trying to make a little Wayne joke. It wasn't a little Wayne joke. That's how he greets oh, people okay. sometimes. No, 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 he no, don't. He doesn't. He don't kiss I'm not his son. He said he kisses his son. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but you know, he's so, he, and he, I mean, if a nigga like that have a sense of humor, I don't, th- I think Kev, she wants to be, you know. But then sometimes, you see how he came in here on me? There was Who? no sense of humor there that was no day. Sense there was no sense of humor that day. Yeah, you're not a comedian, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what's, what's this suit that you're wearing? What, what is it? Uh, this is this man. Look, show did you see the shoe? And the shoe. And the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is from Togo. All my shit comes from out of the country. All my outfits went through customs. Mm-hmm. They all have passports. This shit comes from a <laughs> country. <laughs> my shit went through immigration. This outfit went is TSA approved. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, none of my shit. I I'm don't do what it. regular niggas do. You clean, my brother. You clean, man. This is some man. regular shit. There, it's H and M. I ain't got nothing. Coolest monkey in the jungle wearing outfit while I see that. This is some real 2035 shit. Oh my goodness. This all is right. lamb. This shit is dinner. When I'm hungry, I eat this bitch. <laughs> Tell them your Instagram and all that stuff, Mike. It's, if you listen, it's all at Michael Blackson. For right. those who went to a public school, it's M I C H A E L. B L A C K S O N. And he ain't right. shit. I no, feel like we might have patched up some of Michael Blackson's relationships. I hope this so, morning. man. Right, we'll see. I want to see. I want to see you and Kev um, talk to each other on social media today. Just reach out to each other. Just right. Love. I'm calm, collect. And I'm looking forward to see you and Georgia Rain going out to eat. That bitch hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies Food and is on his way. <laughs> it's Michael Blackson. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 